A rectangle is drawn so that the width is two inches longer than the height. If the rectangle's diagonal measurement is 22 inches, find the height and width round to the tenths. So looking at this rectangle here, this is the diagonal, which we know has a length of 22 inches. We also know the width is two inches longer than the height. Let's use the variable h for the height. So this length here is h inches. And because the width is two inches longer, we can use the expression h plus two for the width. Now from here, notice how the diagonal cuts the rectangle into two right triangles, one here and one here. And therefore we can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared equals a squared plus b squared, to determine the height and the width. Where c is the length of the hypotenuse, this length here, and a and b are the lengths of the two legs, which are the two sides that form the right angle. So the diagonal must be C, the hypotenuse. And then we can label these two sides A and B. It does not matter which is A and which is B. And now applying the Pythagorean theorem, we would have C squared or 22 squared equals A squared, which is equal to H squared, plus B squared, which is the quantity H plus two squared. 22 squared equals 484. So we have 484 equals h squared plus, there are no shortcuts here. We have to write out two factors of h plus two and then multiply, which will give us four products. We distribute the h, then distribute the two. h times h is h squared, so we have plus h squared, plus h times two is two h, but notice how the next product is two times h, which is also two h, giving us plus four h, and then plus two times two, which gives us plus four. On the right side, we have two like terms. h squared plus h squared is equal to two h squared, giving us 484 equals two h squared plus four h plus four. And now to set the equation equal to zero, we subtract 484 on both sides. Simplifying, we now have zero equals two h squared plus four h, and then four minus 484 gives us minus 480. Now, so the greatest common factor among all three terms is two. Let's factor out the two from the right, which gives us zero equals two times the quantity h squared plus two h minus 240. Let's continue on the next slide. The trinomial inside the parentheses does not factor, and therefore we'll have to use the quadratic formula to determine the values of h that make h squared plus 2h minus 240 equal to zero. We'll notice how a is equal to one, b is equal to two, and c is equal to negative 240. So using the quadratic formula shown here below, we have h instead of x, h equals negative b, which is negative two, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is two squared, minus four times a times c, which is four times one times negative 240, all over two times a, which is two times one. Simplifying, we have h equals negative two, plus or minus the square root of, this will be four, of two squared, which is four, and then we have minus four times one times negative 240, which is minus negative 960, which is equivalent to plus 960. And all this is still divided by two. Four plus 960 is equal to 964, giving us h equals negative two plus or minus the square root of 964, all divided by two. And now to approximate the two solutions to the nearest tenth using the calculator. For the first solution, we have the quantity negative two plus the square root of 964. To get out from under the square root, we press the right arrow, close parenthesis, and then divide it by two, which gives us approximately 14.5. And then for the second solution, we can just press second enter, 
and then change the addition sign to a subtraction sign and press enter. H is also approximately negative 16.5, but in our case, we can exclude this solution because we know H is a length. So we now know H is approximately 14.5. We can go back and determine the height and the width. So because the height is equal to H, we know the height is approximately 14.5 inches, and we know the width is equal to H plus two inches, well 14.5 plus two is equal to 16.5, and therefore the width, and therefore the width is approximately 16.5 inches. I hope you found this helpful.